March 22, 1806, in Durham, Jacob Roke was born. His father, Martin Roke, died when Jacob was not even two. He became very successful and began his career as a shoemaker at Southwest Bend. Jacob loved to promote his industry that had been operating for 40 years. He was known as the pioneer of all great shoe manufacturing. July 5, 1886 was a very tragic day. Jacob Roke was found dead and is now buried at Oak Hill Cemetery. In the 1800s, on South Main Street, there was a block named Phoenix Block. In the Lewiston Evening Journal, February 15, 1947, it states that Phoenix Block was Built in 1855 to restore needed facilities after the Great Fire of 55 destroyed 27 business and residential buildings in the village center. Douglas was the architect. Furbus did the roofing and carpentry. And Norton did all the stonework. In 1872, Jacob Roke and Samuel Packard decided to start a shoe factory in a building called Phoenix Block. Properly called the Phoenix Block because it rose out of the fire ashes. Roke Block soon became the cradle of the Auburn Shoe Factory. It was the fifth largest shoe factory in the world. Roke Block was split into nine sections. Each section was bought for $5,000. The first section belonged to August M. Pulsifer. The second section belonged to Albert B. Furbush. Jonathan Norton bought the third section. Edward Little bought the fourth section. Jacob Broke had the fifth section. Horatio Pulsifer and George Roke got the sixth section. The seventh section belonged to Charles Emerson. Seth Miller owned the eighth section. Last but not least, E.A. Little, T.H. Smith, and N.J. Jordan bought the ninth section. In 1977, the city wanted Roke Block to convert its unused space for retail. Today, Roke Block is now used as apartment buildings. Ah. Uh.